if you know me, I really like scouting and I really like expanding to different areas on the map. And this game has a big focus on scouting, but also expanding in ways that I don't think we'll ever see again, but the day is young. The thumbnail probably spoiled some of it, but just watch and enjoy this game. Game number four. Ozone needs to tie it up. He did the same after he lost game one. Let's see what he does. Ozone in the red, playing as the Saracens here on slopes. And then we've got the Portuguese for Ganji. For the first time, I think we're seeing Portuguese on this map. And uh, Ozone. I, I think more players should do this. I think it's really smart. He knows exactly where the opponent is because of the way the map's situated. And he is the underdog. So he's going forward to try and steal something from Ganji. Now, we do have the boars generated more to the back for this reason. Uh, otherwise, boars would be leaving people's bases right away. But he does find a turkey so far. And if he keeps going this way... Oh, man, that's so unfortunate. But th essentially, you're taking a risk with laming, right? You now have to scout with your own turkeys. You might not find your own resources. It's kind of harder to make decisions. And Kanji's going to be like, thank God I got these. Portuguese are good on, like, every map. So, uh, with Portuguese being good on every map, I think it's a little less of a surprise that we're, this is the first time we've seen them here. Ozone trying to steal these. Ganji knows they're there. And Ozone might just need to wander home. Oh, he's trying to kill the turkeys. And Ganji blocked him off. All right. See how it goes. So I like the Saracens a lot. I think they have a lot of good matchups. I think that where they thrive the most is behind some walls and utilizing the market. You would use the golden come a lot. So having the gold in the back is pretty nice. Map is actually really good by slope standards here for uh, for Ozone. Whereas this gold for Ganji, that's not really that fun. Berries are still on the back. Wood situations there, stones here, but you do sometimes have the golds a bit more forward. Actually, I think where it's better for Ganji is actually the second gold that's near your base. This one I could see being an easy TC spot. This is no fun. And notice how Ozone has still not found his own turkeys here. Ooh, he may assume that he uh he may assume that these have been stolen. And you know, so worst case scenario for him right now would be to try and scout to find them, not find them, and then not have pushed in any Ibex. So he is choosing to push in Ibex because he needs something. No. Oh, God, no. Okay, Ibex, do not bug out for him. Do not. Oh, he's got a boar. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry, I forgot about the second boar. I just. Oh, there's also another goose under there. So. Did I say turkeys? It's fine. Uh, geese are like the turkeys of the of the, the the lake. I almost said the turkeys of the sea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are probably sea geese, but we don't need to get into this. And now, if Ozone checks the front of his base, he would find 400 food. This area and this area would be the spot where you'd find it. And boop, he's happy. And. He might not be even remembering the other two are still out there. Silly Mongoose Arena. L listen, Mongoose and Geese are different. Don't get upset with me, all right? Sea Geese? Come on, man. There's got to be a goose. I guess that would be a bird, right? That'd probably be a bird. There's there's a lot of birds out there, all right? Yeah, he's not going to find him. So, you know, for all the times that we see a lame... And everyone says, oh, so-and-so's dead or laming is OP. This is a pretty decent example of how the lame is a risk that is not paid off here for Ozone. Ganji's just been doing his thing, sitting at home, pushing in all the deer from the sides because he does not want to take the risk to head out there. Yes. And we continue. Have you ever been attacked by a goose? My sister is like deathly afraid of geese because when she was like six or seven years old and they were uh, having a picnic near a lake, on a bright and sunny summer day, she got attacked by a goose. So she does not like geese. Her feeling of geese is pretty much my feeling of this lumber camp in relation to the position of this house. Because villagers are just going to go all around constantly. It's going to be really inefficient. But uh, imagine could be scouts here for Ozone. It feels like scouts, obviously missing the food would be a bit of a struggle. 
he's still gonna choose to push in some deer. And oh man, he's not gonna have scouting on the fact his opponent will go man at arms. Actually, it's gonna be it's Dark Age. Huh? Interesting. Doesn't quite have the food. It's not the cleanest build here from Ganji. Usually these days, players are clicking up to feudal and then they make the militia, but the militia will be here faster. Hmm. Yeah, geese are pretty brutal. I guess it depends what geese you're talking about. Okay, so final final topic on, on geese, right? Like Canadian geese, I'm pretty sure they're really mean, but they mate for life, so that's kind of like, aww. But some geese and like some ducks are like really brutal, and we don't, we don't need to get into it, and they're, you know, not doing the whole mate for life thing. Like I saw this one video, okay, sorry, last thing. I saw this one video once, where this one goose was really sad because his mate died. And I just, I just, I don't know. That stuck with me. So, yeah. Look at Ganji. Ganji's looking around. He's like, where is he taking wood? It's been interesting to see what the people are missing out on vision-wise this game. Now Ganji doesn't have the information scouting-wise. He pushed in the deer, but oh, man. Oh, can the villagers leave there? It might be stuck. And we'll see if Villager doesn't go down. Actually, the house helps out here. If Villager were to go down, this would obviously be pretty bad for Ozone. Ozone reacts to that nicely. And look at Ganji over here on the food. So he brought in these deer, and then he's also taking the resources on the other side. I love this. This is going to be so annoying for Ozone. This is a sick build from, from Ganji. Market early here for Ozone already. This could kill a Villager. You've got the hill involved, two militia, and the feudal age scout. Definitely could kill a vill. Maybe should kill a vill. But Ganji's showing a lot of respect for Ozone's ability to micro right now. Ozone fights back. Villager's weak now. This is so annoying. And we have a stable. Two militia into scouts. And the food looks amazing. And I think the pressure might be getting to Ozone right now. Ganji has completely outplayed him here. This is beautiful. That could be another dead vill. That should be another dead vill. This is going to be two vills from this. You block an attack with the scout and it's a dead vill. What a play from Ganji. What a build. Just like the previous game. We have not seen this yet. This is like maybe even unique to Portuguese because they spend a little bit less gold in their gold units. And he's utilizing all the aspects of the map, right? He took this food and then he took this food. And, and look, like... He's walling up, and he's prepared with spears. Poor Ozone's gonna... This is where you really feel like you're in a bad spot. Because you're expecting, on the back of a, you know, two militia drush from your opponent, that you're gonna have the army lead. That was sick. Now, guys, without the scout, that drush doesn't kill anything. The starting scout is the MVP. It does so much damage. It's fast. It blocks. And now you are simply going into a scout war, and look at Ozone's position, guys. This is... All in the dark for him. He has no clue his opponent's over here. All because he tried to lame with his scout and get the scouting intel that way. And then he had to play catch up and the other aspects of his game. Now he's going to wall up. He's down two vills. There's not too much he can do about that now. Hopefully for him, he can check this. <coughs> Excuse me. And if he, if he sees this, Ganji's taking a bit of a risk, right? And I think Ozen will come right over here. Okay. Mm there we go. Sees it. Notices it. We'll get the walls down. I've seen Saracens recover from worse positions. I wonder if Ganji will... Yeah, he wants to make sure his walls are down. He's double-checking here. Great that he double-checked this. He'll notice in a second that Villager's out there. He just clicked behind the walls. You have to do that, guys. He actually didn't get a um, double bid axe. So no double bid axe and look at his resources collected. Yep, gets his walls down. He didn't need spears in the openings in the walls anymore. So he brought his spears here. And I'm sure we know where Ozone's going to go. Ozone's going to go here. And Ganji sees him. But what do you do in the next stage, guys, with the Portuguese? I think crossbow knight, always pretty reasonable. You want to go gold units with this sieve. And ozone might be up faster. And if he goes crossbows, if he gets that timing, he could easily turn things around, especially with this gold. 
Ganji will have to use some army to hold the map. Ganji will not break through. Ozone should be okay. This is actually the best way to make use of the market. You go to stone so you can just continually sell more. And then you go to gold can you, so you can continually buy more. Just a small thing that Ozone's doing here. He's trying to use these spears to pull Ganji out of position so he can get kills. And then Ganji will pull his spears back. He's having none of that. And Ozone will click up at similar times. No archer range yet for Ganji. I think it has to be archers, though. He just can't make any yet because he needs the gold for Castle Age. But I think trying to go knights on the back of this, at least like only knights against Saracens, would be a mistake. And nice job from Ganji. Wow, their uptimes are identical here. Ozone's way back into this game. We'll be using that market all the time and massing crossbows. He's not producing out of both ranges right now. Now he is, sorry. Just caught him at an off time. Crossbow number won't be the largest. Ganji? Very curious to see how he plays this. Because he has tons of wood, so he could drop town centers or something, but... Yeah, he might actually want a TC over here. These Vills are staying over here, so he can go for a town center. I wonder, since you Vills need to do something, I wonder if we build... Hear me out. You go Lumber Camp here, and then when you TC, you actually TC the other side of the gold. So it protects the gold from range units, but then you still have efficient wood. Because you could tell his Vills need a job right now. They're jobless. What are you up to? Well, I'm a little in between jobs right now. You know, I used to do some part-time work over at the Shorefish, and then... You know, ran into some Ibex, but unfortunately, the population's so low this time of year. Sorry. Stables here. Another stable for Ganji, so it will be knights. Archer's on the way with some spears. Stable could potentially go down, so you have to be a little worried. It does take some time to make the knights. Those archers could also kill any repair bills, so this will be annoying. Love how Ganji is looking here all the time, waiting for more archers to come forward. Also love this scout, seeing if we'll see any expansion there. Knights are on the way. Oh, interesting how Ganji... I mean, the Siege Workshop makes perfect sense here, but it is interesting to me how, at the moment, he can't take the fight. He just got Feudal Age armor. This army's not that big. He could take the fight soon. And Ozone's like, I need more crossbows forward. I need camels forward. If, if this army gets here in time, he could take a really good engagement. The dream right now against the player going knights is to take out that stable. And he's 300 HP away. Okay. I guess you have to delete your house right now if you're Ganji. Ozone did not attack the scouts. He passed it back away. Well played. And now this next knight can come forward. It is hard to combine crossbow and camel and get upgrades on the camels with the crossbows. Still, I, this is so high level. So smart. Just still, you want to send crossbows forward. Okay, go ahead. My scouts are going to find some if you're not careful. And what it does is it relieves that pressure on the stable. More knights are out. Scorpions are out too. Aganji has built that second town center. And he is booming. Two TCs. Still no double bid X though. So, I know I keep bringing it up, but I don't think a lot of you guys saw it, right? So, Margugu, big favorite, NAC qualifier. And he was up 2-0 against Ozone. And I forget if it was game 3 or game 4. God, Margugu is never going to watch my stream until this Ozone guy is out. Um, I forget which game it was. But Ozone was 1 TC against 3 TCs. And his opponent had a 30-40 villager lead, right? And so, he just... He just kept full army. And it was cross, but it was double range, double stable, full army, one TC. He's got the potential. And, uh, you know, Ganji, he needs to hold now, basically, because eventually your eco kicks in. But, uh, and yeah, we'll see. Look at the patrolling scouts on both sides of the map. I wonder if Ganji will choose to. Uh, I wonder if he'll choose to go to the sides himself. The fact that he's still on stone makes me think he wants a castle towards the front here. There's lots of gold and stone towards the middle. 
Dow teasing Margugu got me. Ozone's name was mentioned 300 times in the four days that Margugu was at NAC. Dow just could not stop trash talking Margugu about losing to Ozone. Margugu comes to me, T90. I'm so excited for Hidden Cup qualifiers. How do you think I'd hide my identity if I made it to the main event? Doubt from the other side of the room. Hope you're not in the same bracket of, in, as Ozone in the qualifier. <laughs> like, just like... <laughs> it, it was it was hilarious to me. <laughs> For, I mean, they both, they, you know, kind of went both ways, but... Oh, man. And Ozone, I thought he was going to push through the middle. I think he was expecting there to have been a TC or something to attack here. And Ganji has just done a really nice job playing defensive. He always shows enough resistance here. And Ozone always seems so scared to attack. And the thing is, Ozone waited so long for the town center. The military hasn't paid off. And now he might feel like he has to go eco. And there he goes. Yeah, he's going to attack that scout. I think Ganji is in the better position right now. But he can advance out. That's the thing. I mean, the knights can outrun the camels per se, but... This is an army that can defend. It's not an army that can easily attack right now. I love the activity from Ganji's scouts. The scout goes down, though. Did see the TC foundation. And Ganji going to... Ooh, it's a bit of a weird one. Because you probably want a town center, but you have the stone for a castle, and he's going to drop a castle there. I don't like that castle spot. Why are we castling the side where we have no eco... Instead of here. I mean, the stone wall is pretty smart. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Ozone's coming here now. Ozone's on the way. Ozone could see this. Ozone could deny this. Maybe. Sort of. Scorpions are on the way, though. And Ozone will take the fight. Run into the night. See the scorpions. Castle will go up. That's why we castle it. Ozone should push middle right away. But I still don't know if he has the army to deal with the scorpion-monk combination. Like, you always feel like you're going to lose a camel. You always feel like the scorpions are going to get a lot of hits. Yeah, Ganji in Ozone's head there. But this is also how the map is frequently played. And Well, again, Ganji has just enough. How? how I mean, it's so good. I, I really am impressed with him. He's up against crossbow. He's up against camel. Like, this combination is normally so good. It's the scorpion edition. Like, no one... Uh, it's very rare to see scorpions really combined perfectly with a knight army these days. Like, you'll, you'll see the occasional scorpion, but just, like, the perfect amount. Grouping your units up perfectly. And now... Now, now look at Ganji, man. Look at this. He loops two knights over, knowing how... Ozone might be thinking about Eco because he just thought about the same thing. And he is going to be rewarded for that. This guy is playing so good. And Ozone is going to be really frustrated if this happens. Oh, man. I mean, can he see it, though? <laughs> oh, that sucks. I mean, it's amazing for Ozone. Oops. What'd I do? What'd I do? Ah! I closed cap trades. Crap! I don't know why that happened. Hold on one second. We missed some stats. It'll it'll still show the pops. I'm sorry. I don't know why that popped up. Hold on. Let's go. We're back in the game. The Knights found it. The Knights found it. Ozone paying, uh, Aganji paying attention. And as we witnessed, the, and again on this side as well from Ganji. Textbook slopes play. Textbook slopes. This is amazing. And I'll say what I said when Ozone won that crazy game on Mudflow. This is a player who has practiced his ass off, dude. He has, has played incredibly well. The timing in defense, the timing in the attack, the securing of the sides. The only thing he hasn't done is research Feudal Age Wood Upgrade, which is actually pretty bad. And now he wants a forward castle. Can he do it? This is a big, big army. Your villager lead would disappear here. Have to be careful, Ganji. You have to be very careful. The scorpions are still... If the scorpions and organ guns weren't here, it's a big clear. Organ guns go down. Scorpions. Ooh, maybe. I actually think maybe Ozone could take a decent fight. I think he could, he could clear this up, maybe. 
You get a couple of your units to take out the scorpions. Uh, uh, castle might not go down uh, up. I I think this can be denied. What is happening? Ozone's gonna clear it. This castle could be denied, and Ozone could still be alive. But even if it just goes up barely, it's still fine for Ganji. Villagers, building, hammering away, and it's gonna go up. It's gonna go up. He had just enough. One of the rare circumstances where a player might be tempted to stay under the castle and just attack it. Wow, what a moment that was. I mean, Ganji, maybe I should settle down and stop complimenting the guy. <laughs> because... Kanji is so amazing. He is so incredible. He is clearly... And then, uh, you know, Castle casually almost gets denied. It's also kind of a bad castle. I mean, there's never a bad forward castle when you're this close to the enemy, but it's not on the gold. It's not here either. It's a really nice position, though. And if he can get this one up, he will have three castles to make Orkin Guns. And Castle Age units struggle against Orkin Guns. Now, camels would struggle, crossbows would struggle, and Ozone wants a forward castle. Ozone probably thinks this guy is hacking with how much stone he has here. He's like, how does he have a third castle? And again, just like on islands, I guarantee you Ozone never faced up against a play like this. The drush probably never happened. The scout follow-up probably never happened. Ozone, good attentiveness over here. It's about to get messy, folks. This is how you come back in the game. This is how you come back in the game. Carl, in my chat, who says this is boring. Carl, we have very different tastes. What, are we watching the same game? This has been so fun. Ozone right now. Now, if this stone wall wasn't here, Ganji's got nothing. He's got nothing, Carl. Nothing. But once the castle goes up, the walls can get shot down, and Ganji might need another castle here. And he's kind of running out of stone. Now, I, I think he could just... Oh, uh, well, he's using the market. So he could just drop it right next to the TC to kind of protect the area. But the house is going to go down, so he's got to be really careful. And now Kanji is going to go forward here. He's like, you castle me, I'll castle you. And Ozone's army is out of position. And, uh... Well... I mean, you need to go forward because you're behind. But this is awkward, Ozone. What do you do? <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> yes. I love it. This is this is the right play, right? A defensive castle means you are reacting to someone who is already ahead of you. A forward castle gives you a crazy shot. Ganji is in full evacuation mode. And and for like the third game this series, uh, go back and watch game one and game number two if you haven't seen them. We have like these crazy castle age plays with castle drops. I mean, Ganji, Ganji did this in game one with Bohemians, was an imp like 10 minutes later, and then somehow with very little golden gold rush ended up making it happen. You know what's the, what merely makes a big difference right now? Is imp. I think if Ozone can idle his TC, oh, 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 go, they're escaping. Don't let them escape. If Ozone can um, stop creating vills, and find a town center to go imp in, if he can afford it. Look at this castle. I mean, then he could make trebs. Ozone's villagers would like to break out. They have broken out. And now these villagers... It'd be so funny if he has to make a castle here, but they're going to drop a TC. Um, yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven... <laughs> Eight castles. Ozone wants to build another one. <laughs> he has enough stone for it. Uh, I mean, still Ozone's eco is taking a lot more damage. And the Orkin guns, I think, is just too strong to stop. But if siege hits happen, maybe there's a chance. <laughs> this DC has been denied by, Oz by Ozone. And look where Ganji's going. We already know, guys. <laughs> we already know. What he's going to do when he sees this stone. He's going to be like, oh, 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 oh. Okay, you, you took that stone. Okay, well, I have stone for a castle. <laughs> uh, there's a random crossbow there. Okay, Ozone noticed. So maybe a castle there wouldn't make sense. 
Ganji, I guess it canceled this one. <laughs> it's it's unfortunate for Ozone that but it's not unfortunate. It's a shame that he made like have. Because actually it looks like Ganji lost all these bills. I actually think that food with imp and trebs, a treb here, some trebs here, like maybe there would actually be a pretty decent chance. This is nuts. This is freaking nuts. Like have there for the monks, maybe. And now the siege is there against the Rams and the Orkins. Siege numbers can actually do really well. <laughs> this is nuts. I mean, I said it. I'm sorry. I have no other word to, to really say at this point. But really, when you have 125 vils, right? And it's a castle war. Both players need to be thinking imp. Oh my god. Ozone has found another area to castle. And he's going to walk back into Ganji's eco. Okay, can we please do T90 stonk subs, please? We've got to go up here. We've got to go up. Up to Imp. Come on, both of you need to do it. I think Ganji's doing it first. He stopped producing Vils. He's thought about it. He's used the market. We need to go up to Imp, as MBL would say. And choose a town center that's safe. The only one that's safe is here for Ganji. Ozone. Oh my freaking god. How many or 27 organ guns? Yeah, and, and the unit is just so strong in mass. No wonder Ozone can't think properly. This is ridiculous. This whole base is getting gunned down right now. Um, I think Ozone's looking for these villagers if they escape, so he might actually find them. He's got <laughs> five making L's at the moment. But I'm worried that once the first Treb comes out for Ganji on the front and at home, that this is all going to end for Ozone. Ozone's got this crazy lead. He's got actually got a crazy eco. He's got a crazy score lead. He does find the escapees here and will kill a lot more. Like, this is the majority of Ganji's eco. Can he get up to Imp? He needs to be Imp now. Uh, here's a positive, actually. Elite organ doesn't get that much. Well, it, okay, it gets way better. But it's not affordable right now. And there's still a chance that Mass Manganel can kill it. This is what the eco is doing for Ozone right now. And Ozone is going imp in the north. Hey, Carl, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, to have called you out there, Carl. One out of 7,000 people. I just, I really hope that this is fun for you. This is hilarious, man. This is just so funny. This is like... Ganji started here. He doesn't live here anymore. Ozone started here. He doesn't want to live here anymore, but he has no choice because he can't go anywhere else because there's just random garbage everywhere. The farming eco right now for Ganji is on the hill terrain, and he is now going to drop a castle over here. Which will most likely go up because these Orkin guns are killing everything. And this is actually a really important area for Ozone. But wait. Ozone is not finished. He is evacuating. <laughs> and Ozone will boom in this area. Where are the Trebs for Kanchi? <laughs> if Ozone can push back this corner, this would be huge. Because I don't know why we're making... I think Ozone's misclicking camels. Maybe he's making them because of the HP. Oh, no, there's knights. Okay. Well, yeah, you saw knights. That makes sense. If Ozone can deny this right now and then keep the left corner somehow, he actually has a chance. But it seems like there's always just enough here for Ganji to complete a castle. And Ozone's going to build his own castle! What? And he's going to be Imp. But he might lose this castle here. There's a treb here as well from Ganji. A lot of camels died. Um, This castle here... Is it gonna go up? It's denied! It's denied, I think! 95%! 95% the knights are killing everything though! Villagers! Villagers! She's, she's clutch. She's clutch. She gets it up. Oh, disaster for Ozone. Oh, that siege goes down. Oh, crap. Castle's down over here. What did we say about trebs, right? Like, if you have villagers at this point, they are not living a good life anyways, right? It is incredibly inefficient. So I just encourage you, if you're ever in a game like this with lots of castle drops, just, like, stop making bills and go up. 
It is the easiest thing to say as a caster. It is so hard when you're in the moment. We have a Fatoria down here for Ganji, which he can do as the Portuguese. That will give him a trickle of all resources. It will take away some of his pop space, though. But I think it's worth it, because, like, he has 27 army. Ozone has 6. So his 27 army is all he needs. And mainly the Trebs are doing everything here. And I think Ozone... I mean, I don't know how he has the score lead right now, honestly. It makes no sense, but yeah. He doesn't have control of his base anymore. Like, I don't even know where he goes with these villagers. But the answer is in is here. And he's still actually farming away. Actually has a chance if he trebs this down and can just go pure Hussar. Mm, this castle will go down, though, which means the Vils and the Trebs are exposed. Give Ganji access to gold again. Uh, I just want to, like, group up these Vils and see what their life looked like. <laughs> that's their that's the summary of their existence. Repairing, idle, other, moving, building, gold, food, wood. They've done it all. And again, this is the corner. If Ozone has any chance, it's this. I also, I, I hate to, to say this because it's going to be so awkward for Ozone, but I think Ozone is not prepared for the amount of houses he needs to build. He He's finding kills. He's still in the game. He's still in this somehow. Um, but he's about to lose a lot of population space. And Ganji says, at least we are putting on a show. <laughs> Maybe they both feel like they're playing horrible and they should have never been in this situation. I mean, I, uh, Ozone is still repairing this trap, but they are absolutely putting on a show here for us. Ganji needs this win to win the series. Ozone, of course, to stay alive has to tie it up. This is just hilarious. And Ozone still has gold. He still has castles. And the population, the working population is actually still somehow close. He's got farms. The relics he may lose, which would be really bad. He's got trebs. He has golds here. Um, that Fatoria is accounting for 20 of the population space Ganji has. Which is important to keep in mind. I mean, if Ozone just goes pure Hussar here and gets Lightcav into the farming eco from Ganji, this could be winnable. This would be a, one of the craziest comebacks. I thought he was so dead. Like this area, funnily enough. Now, good luck weaving your way through all the castles. Dude, Ozone is not giving up. Ozone's going to win. Can we get some Can we get some Ozone hype in chat? He's going to win this. Everything's against him. The odds are stacked against him. He lost his relics. There's Fatoria. Ozone's got 63 on food. Ganji Micro's military. Ozone with farms just everywhere. But he's been found. This outpost from Ganji is really, really clutch. And that is something that Ozen does not have. He does not have vision on this. And I, I think I hyped him up at the wrong time. This is... It's just not looking good. If he can complete this TC, though, it's kind of okay. If he can expand eco over here... I mean, geez, just drop more TCs behind there. There's four castles for Ganji. The Hussar upgrade would also be amazing here. And the attack upgrades. He may have lost his blacksmith. Oh, there we go. He's, he's gonna... I like how the, it's still the original blacksmith. Yep, there's Hussar. Ganji getting elite organ gun. Okay, the organ guns cannot be killed now. Elite organ gun against Cav is insane. They have such crazy spread damage. Like, they, their inaccuracy basically makes them stronger. It would, could still take a big shot from a Manganel or two, but when they're elite... That's when Ozone would need to consider Onager. And this is... There's a lot of time right now for Ganji where he's not being raided. And, and Ozone has done a good job at trying to find damage. But when you wait at all, Ganji will punish. And Ganji, who is just now getting double bid axe, the Feudal Age Wood upgrade, is going to just trap this corner down. And this is where we need some type of response from Ozone. He's got to get over there. He's got to get over there fast. Oh, man. He's running out of stone. Here come the Hussars. The winged Hussars. They will soon arrive. 
Ganji's not messing around either with his eco, though. Look at the farming eco. Ozone's not letting him take this gold uncontested. How? How is he focusing on that when his whole base, the new lands, he has somehow taken control of are dying? He will have the hill with some of these Hussars. He will take the fight against the Organs. There's no Halb upgrade. We have Archibus now, so these things are affected by Ballistics. But the Trebs will go down, and Ozone will hold here, and he just instantly, 30 new farms. This is a crazy hold. He's still got Trebs. He's still being patient here, waiting for a moment to maybe push these Organ Guns, which right now have just 25 kills, but he held. Ozone, stop going back home, says the caster, who is not really nervous. Go here. Go raid. I mean, there's just castles. You never think you can raid it. Is this actually winnable? Carl? Is this winnable? I mean, Ganji's looking for farms. He's not finding them. He, I mean, there's a couple. But, like, all that farming eco is snugged into these little areas. Ozone wants a massive Hussar surround on these organs. I, I think they all die. Watch. Ready? Boom! Okay, that was not... Boom. Okay, I'm completely wrong. The Hussars are actually going to do a good enough job. He's got more on food. He's bringing in his Trebs. No, I, I think no. The Organ Guns are doing what I thought. The Organ Guns are still just so good. You take the castle out, you can maybe breathe. More units need to come in. It's Halb as well for Ganji, though, which is the problem. Halb Organ is unkillable if you don't have your own Siege. And for that, you need gold. Which he will not have a lot of long term here. Castle goes down. Can he get out of here with the Trebs? Here he's clearing up raids. The Trebs. Get five, right? Can he get away with three? That's not bad, actually. But he lost so many Hussars there. His population is down to 140. <laughs> Guys, they started here and here. They are now east to west. <laughs> actually, that's a fun map idea. I think we have our new map for the main event. You just start up on the hill on both sides. It's just, you know, a different version of slopes. <laughs> this is this is wild. And then you have to, you know, come down into the pit to get access to stone and gold, which Ganji has control of right now. And Ganji has Vatoria. And Ganji's army is just way stronger now. Ganji's arm, army is stronger. Um, he's got the siege. Well, the Trebs combined with the organ guns. And he might be able to push this castle. And Ozone, who's played so well here today, guys. He was such a good player. Who's, who's, I mean, he's just such a good mind for the game. I think he's, he's earned himself a lot of fans here. He doesn't want to go down. And, um, for that reason, he's, he's unpacked these Trebs. He's hoping, he's praying that he can kill the Trebs from Ganji and the castle can hold for him. But there's just so much death and destruction near these organ guns. These things are just too good. And I think Ozone will realize now. I mean, his eco's getting affected by this. He'll never get the relics again. He has no real counter damage coming in. That's what he needs. He needs to kill the strep. Then the castle can kind of defend this eco. And... Oh, wow. He's so unlucky. Are you kidding? Are you serious? Still isn't taking it. He has no stone. Uh-oh. Organ guns are approaching. Organ guns are approaching. Look at the micro from Ganji, you freaking nerd! He's dodging the castle fire with the halb. Needs to repair his treb again. Repairing his treb again. Organ guns still haven't taken out the trebs, but there's raids from Ganji on the gold. There's raids from Ganji on the farms in the wood. And Ganji's pop still so good. Propped up by the Fatoria. And if farming eco has just gotten so much worse for Ozone here. What a hold from Ozone. But the end is near. Zero gold income. Vil count down below 100 now. That's a death sentence in this type of a game. Will he kill the Treb though? Come on, Treb RNG. He gets it. Which means Ozone can delay the inevitable a little bit longer, but I think he he might even call it before he loses the Trebs. Again, there's just no win condition for him now. Uh, and he'll see his pop. Players won't want to resign in a game like this because it's it's it, the score can sometimes mean nothing to you. Uh, you can't look at the pop and your resources. You're just... Your, your brain is just a big old pile of mush. But... 
And there he kills the Treb. But he's going to lose two. He's going to maybe lose three. And Ozone gives him the GG well played. Good luck next. What a game. And what a series. That was everything that I had advertised right there between these two. And it's a shame we didn't get to the fifth game. Uh, fifth game would have been maybe relatively mild compared to that. Because that would have been Arabia. But like, what on earth was this series? Three of these games were some of the best games I've seen so far in the qualifier. The performance was ridiculous. And I'm going to say the same thing that I said in game number one um, about Ganji. Because game one was close. I know a lot of people here might have missed it. I encourage you to go back and watch it. This will spoil some aspects of it. But Ganji has this energy. This So first, initially, it's very passive. And he gets his eco set. And then it's just full on, foot on the, you know, throttle. And he just drops castles like crazy. And it just got so crazy. And so many people die to that. Because they react to it. They're defending and whatever else. And even though Ozone lost, it was actually the right play from him. When the going got rough to go forward as well. But let's, let's go back. I, oh crap. When did I leave the game? Okay, I, I forgot. Sorry about that, by the way. Um... So, I want to go back to, like, right right when Lightcav come in, comes in for Ozone. Okay. Now, there's reasons for it, right? He's thinking, I need to go Siege against the Organs. And I need to go Lightcav, maybe for some mobility. Um, maybe for some Monks. But I think right here, we're at 38 minutes. Your Eco's garbage. Nah. It's castled, right? I think... Again, in theory, if you can just get up to Imp, if you can stall out Vil production, not spend any food, and get up and get to Trebs faster, I mean, imagine Ozone would have had this area locked down. He would have had all this eco to move to. He may have been able to Treb this down because it took some time. Like here, boom, still going, still creating Vils, still making light cap, boom, still going. Still going, still going, still going. I think that's kind of the difference maker. Like even here, the eco is brutal. Actually, I think soon after is when he bought his way to Imp, in all honesty. Yeah, soon after he does. But um, I, I just think Imperial Age from Ganji was so smart. And that, you know, in a castle war has to be the key. I've seen games where you are down by 30 vil A player is down by 30 vils. And in a game like this, which is so messy and castles are next to each other, they win. Because once, the, once you win the Treb War... You then have castles to protect your eco, and your eco is going to be better anyways. And you can just pick your opponent apart. Once all these castles are down, your eco is not protected anymore. But man, um, I, I really enjoyed that game. Sorry, this is horrible. This is really bad. Um, I think the I think this is still correct. Mm, maybe I should check. What's the game say? I think the end statistics is still correct. It should be, right? Yeah, okay. So the end statistics uh, are still correct. The KD might be slightly different, but we'll just quickly look at that. Um, wrong scene, sorry. Ozone collected uh, 86,000 resources. The resources collected was actually so close. Don't ask me how that happened. KD, though, for Ganji, his units were taking much better trades. Organ, organ guns are just such a tough unit to deal with. And then with castles as well. Very, very tricky stuff. I think Ozone should be very, very pleased with his performance, though. Um, it, it's tough because when you're this close, when you're this good, and you're now out, it's he's probably going to think back to game number one and think he could have won that. And, and and the level was close today. But I hope to see more from the guy. Really believe in the guy. And uh, again, there's a reason I, I watched this series. Thank you, YouTube, for watching uh, it, what was a crazy, crazy game. Uh, give me your thoughts on it, obviously, because, again, I don't know if we'll see one quite like this ever again. Um, you may be getting slightly tired of me talking about this at this point, but since you're still here, I have to mention it, that Hidden Cut 5 main event is February 25th through March 3rd. This will be the biggest Age of Empires event I ever do, and I would really like you to take part It'll be live streamed uh, on YouTube. It'll also be live streamed on Twitch throughout that period. And um, I'll have all the videos coming to YouTube as well if you just can't make it live or have no interest in it. But anyways, the best players in the world will be playing on hero names. You can cheer for heroes. You can try and look for your favorite players. They will be guessing competitions. It will be this big thing. 
So anyways, just a little reminder that it's happening. And thank you guys for the support so far this month as we lead up to it.